everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you clicked on this video, you are probably considering auditioning for your school musical or play and there is a good chance you maybe have no idea where to start with that. So in this video, I will be sharing with you everything you need to know to audition for your school musical or play. This is mainly geared towards high school and middle school students. First off, your drama teacher will most likely post a audition sign-up sheet. And if you're not sure about that, you can ask around or ask even the theater teacher who will most definitely tell you. If there's a sign-up sheet that's going to be posted, it's probably going to be posted near the theater classroom. A lot of theater classrooms have like a bulletin board outside that's like a call board that will have a sheet posted on it to sign up for a time. The things you will need to find out for these auditions are, what are the days and times of the auditions? Two, find out how you sign up for a time. So like I said earlier, ask around, ask the theater teacher if it's not already very obvious how you sign up to audition. If it's a musical, you should find out what you should sing. Some schools want you to sing something directly from the show to make it easier for them. Some schools want you to bring something in the style of the show. Some schools are like, bring whatever you want. So find out what you're supposed to sing and how much they want you to sing. A lot of times you'll sing 16 to 32 bars. And if you don't know what that means, go ask your music teacher at your school. If it's a play you're auditioning for, you'll want to find out if you need a monologue, which is just a speech with one person talking from a play, or if you'll be doing a cold read, which a cold read is when you show up to the audition and they give you a scene to read with someone else that you've like probably never seen before, which really is not that scary. So if you have to do that, like don't be discouraged. And lastly, you should find out if there's a dance audition, because if there's a dance audition, you probably want to bring an extra change of clothes that you can move in and some shoes to dance in. And if you don't have dance shoes, usually at a middle school or high school, they're okay with that. They understand that you might not have dance shoes. So probably wear tennis shoes or something you can dance in. This next section is about picking material. So if you've never picked out material for an audition before, that can be so scary. But let's start with this. If you're just starting out, finding a monologue, you can find them in plays. Most plays have monologues in them, or if they don't, but there are scenes where the character has long chunks of dialogues with just lines in between. You can usually cut out the lines in between and kind of like make your own monologue. Or there are a lot of monologue books out there that are titled like 101 comedic monologues for women. And there are a lot of online resources that you can look up. So if you just type into Google like monologues for teenage girls. Usually you'll be able to find a lot of monologues. Don't fret if you've never looked for a monologue before because there are lots of ways to find one. As for songs, you will need sheet music unless it is otherwise specified. Most of the time you can get sheet music online. I like to use this website called musicnotes.com. They have so many selections of songs, but there are a lot of websites you can find songs on and if you just type in the title of the song in the show and then sheet music, a lot, lot of things will pop up for you. When you pick out your sheet music, you need to make sure that it has a vocal line as well as also a piano line. And then on your sheet music, you'll want to mark where you're, like with brackets and then like the word start, where you're starting to sing and where you're ending singing with start and stop in little brackets around the, um, music staff. What to wear to your audition. This can be kind of scary, I know, because you're like, I want to wear the right thing and look beautiful. Basically, wear something nice that shows that you care. You can wear a dress, you can wear jeans and a nice shirt. Basically, just don't wear a costume and don't wear sweatpants, sweatshirt, t-shirt. Look like you care, look like you've thought about your appearance, do your hair nice, wear some makeup if that's what you're comfortable with, but look like you and wear something you're comfortable wearing, but that also shows that you care and that you've put some thought into what you're wearing. On the day of the audition, make sure your body and your voice are warmed up. As 
for vocal warm-ups, there are a lot of vocal warm-ups you can find on YouTube if you just search it on YouTube and you can follow along with them. So that is a really nice way if you're a beginner to warm up your voice before an audition. Make sure you stay hydrated and drink lots of water. Know what you're going to wear and review your audition pieces. Once you walk into the audition room, there is usually a table of directors on one side and then like the pianist sitting over here. And then there's usually, not always, but usually like an X on the floor where they want you to stand. So you walk in, you're like, hey. And then you walk over to the pianist, you set your music down, and you kind of walk them through what you're going to sing. So you say, this is where I start, this is where I'm stopping, and this is about how fast I sing it. And you'll quietly sing a little bit of the song to them about how fast you sing it. And then they basically, they'll be like, okay, cool. And then you'll go stand on the X, and then you slate. And what a slate is, is basically like this. I'll do an example. Hi, my name is Abby Peak, and I'll be singing with you from Ghost. That is if you were doing a musical audition. If you were doing a play, you would say, Hi, my name is Abby Peak, and I'll be doing a monologue from As You Like It. And then basically where I said with you from Ghost and As You Like It, you just insert whatever the piece you're doing is. And then you do your audition, and then you say thank you, and then you go collect your music from the pianist, you say thank you to them, and you leave. And it's seriously as simple as that. It can seem so scary, but that is it. That, that is all. Last but not least, it's important to know that a lot of schools have callbacks. So if you don't know what a callback is, basically it's when they want to see you again to read and sing for a specific role. And they'll usually let you know when callbacks are. Not everyone gets a callback and it's okay if you don't get a callback. That does not necessarily mean you're not in the show. Usually they'll only call back for the lead roles. So you could still be in the ensemble. You could still get a lead role even if you weren't called back. It's possible it happens. But don't be discouraged if you don't get a call back because there's still a chance you'll be in the show. I hope these tips were helpful for you. I hope you have the best school play or musical audition ever. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. Bye guys.